So Android 12 Beta 3 is finally released and a lot of the users can already using are already using Android 12 Beta 3 on their Pixel devices. If you have Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, you can also install Android 12 Beta 3 right now. Ports are already available for these devices as you can see on the screen. And the thing is, I'm just going to talk about that is this port stable to use? Of course it is not, but let's just talk about some things which you get here. And after that, I'll tell you that if you want to use, you should or you shouldn't. First change which I got here is the Android 12 version. Of course, it was Android version S showing from a lot of time beta and the alpha stages, etc. developer versions. But now we finally have an Android version 12 written there which looks quite good but the thing is it still comes with the android 11 easter egg next month we're gonna get android 12 stable version most probably and then you might see android 12 easter egg which might be the biggest change but right now it's still showing as android version 11. also this is the new change which we got here wallpapers and style in wallpapers and style the ui is basically changed and is absolutely revamped and looks quite interesting as you can see wallpaper colors and basic colors you can adjust according to your own preference you can also theme the icons on your default home screen looks quite good and alongside with that you can also do a lot of things if you want to as you can see you've changed the icons and working quite good here also we move on to the quick settings etc things seems to be same here the ui in the quick setting panel is basically same like the previous build so no extra major changes available here and there i'll make sure to provide you the video for android 12 beta 3 changes in upcoming 24 hours so stay tuned for that i'll make sure to i'll try to give you the full video on android 12 beta 3 changes also i noticed that live space is the option which is visible in this default launcher which is also showing as android 12 launcher not showing as android version s launcher so now basically you can name it to android version 12 not android version s and it's available in both of the devices live space etc option is available in both of the devices looks better i haven't tried out these options yet but i'll make sure to provide you the full review very very soon but just want to let you know about both of these devices and let me note it you have these extra gestures options available which you don't get in me a tool device and let me note it if you try to use these gestures of course swipe fingerprint of option is not working at all but if you move on system navigation gesture two button three button all of these things available it also comes the double tap to check phone which isn't working but if you want to choose the one-handed mode this is working perfectly fine you simply need to swipe up swipe down from here you can use your device in one-handed mode looks quite interesting also alongside with that if you want to use the google assistant that option is also available for you we simply need to swipe up from the left side or right side wherever from you want to swipe up from the bottom of the left or right side looks better looks quite interesting these are the things you get in redmi note 8 now if you talk about if you want to use you can or not of course not a lot of issues like heating issues there was a lot of heat while charging battery drainage at whole night even you can see while making this video it was at approximately 30 percent or 26 percent just in some minutes this is not good even though the battery usage level is not showing so in my case i'll not prefer to use this but yes if you still want to use link is in the description and alongside with that in redmi note 9s or me tool it's good enough to use as your daily driver at least for now maybe for some days one two days three days looks better if you want to use link for this one is also in the description in my case i'll choose this one over redmi note 8 build redmi note 8 build does not have those things so i don't think so you might be able to use it for some time even though at whole night it drained approximately 30 percent of battery which was insane so this is all thanks for watching link is in the description goodbye have a nice day over the edge feel like i'm floating through yeah